Uh, this week, we saw First Lady Michelle Obama on the campaign trail. I say it's about time. Uh, I, I've always said, I even told the president this, that she can she could bring the speech much better than even you can. Uh, how important is it for her to be on the campaign trail campaigning for Democrats to get them reelected? Huge. She is the most popular, quote unquote, politician in the Obama administration. She is the person, obviously, that can bring the message home much more so than the president can, as you mentioned a few moments ago. She can personalize the message. She's out on the campaign trail talking about education. She's out on the campaign trail talking about the effects of the stimulus package. She's out on the campaign trail, obviously, talking about the military wives and, and spouses and so forth. So what is she what she's doing is she's personalizing the president's message more so than Vice President Biden, more so than the president. She backed off of campaigning after the, if the election, of course, because she took lots of hits, especially from the right wing. They went after her for everything. And so she didn't want to get into the fray. We even saw them going after her over the vacation to Spain. Uh, but I do believe that there is a place for her beyond just the campaign season, also when it comes to public policy. Well, well, I do, too. But, you know, that's a real precarious place to be. We saw that in the Clinton administration, you know, and Sonia and I were both there covering the White House at the time that, you know, everybody was all over Hillary. She had to do her pretty and pink news conference uh, in the East Room to try to quiet some of it down. Uh, so it's a real dangerous place to be. And you have to walk that line very, very carefully. So she may, by adopting nutrition and health care, uh, for, for young people as kind of her platform. Uh, that's close enough to policy, as close as she may want to get right now and not kind of mess up the works. And if you look at where Mrs. Obama is right now, she's broken the mold a good bit for first ladies. Mm -hmm. In the first year of the Obama presidency, there was a lot of fixation about what she wears, the bare arms, her hair, the whole nine. And now it's not even really about what she's wearing. You rarely find men mentions of what she's wearing. You find yeah, mentions of what she's talking about. Right. And that's new, but that's new for first ladies. And that's something I don't think people are even taking into account is a subliminal shift mm -hmm. uh, in the way this nation views its first ladies. Perhaps that's because she's the first black first lady. Who knows? Uh, right. Speaking of what, wearing the pink you mentioned, I'm wearing, obviously, I, I did want to mention because this is breast cancer mm -hmm. awareness. Mm -hmm. And so if it's good enough for NFL players, uh, right. yeah, I good can, enough for you. That's good enough for me. <laughs> but um, I think we also forget Michelle Obama trained Barack Obama. Right. We forget that. Uh, when he was an intern in our law firm, she was the one that... She was already working there. That, that's right. And she was the one that, I think, really molded him to a point where he felt that he could run for office on the south side of, of uh, Chicago. I mean, prior to that, he had a very diverse, integrated kind of uh, background. The other thing is that w we've interviewed Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. I, I, look, I love the president. He's extremely intelligent. But she knows how right. to communicate. Right. Yeah. She's a she cuts straight through. shooter. She, she speaks. Uh, again, I'll go back to what my grandfather used to say. It's an old country saying she puts it where the goats can get it. She simplifies complicated issues. Mm -hmm. She makes an excellent presentation. You know, and first of all, another point, uh, we actually have a, a TV One special on October 29th uh, on her Let's Move, can Move campaign. Uh, and she got me excited about eating vegetables. Now that's hard, uh, you know. But, but that's absolutely. But again, though, you, you, I mean, eat, how, how, you eat collards. Baby, I'm, stuff, no, 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 no. I'm from Texas. We just straight up uh, meat and potatoes. Oh um, no. But 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 again, even even on that very issue. She has taken the obesity issue, which people say, oh, that's really not an important issue, and has really put it at the forefront. And so, again, I believe, even on the political side, I think it has been a mistake to have her sort of in the background, on the sidelines, because mm -hmm. when she goes on the campaign trail, no teleprompter, well, no notes, when she's and, and, talking to the audience, it's a whole and, different effect. And this was, remember, let's go back to imaging. This is a, a, a first lady that literally got her hands dirty.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. When she went out back and planted right. a garden. I mean, people relate to to that. And I think that's why her she popularity is so high. Term. She, she keeps, keeps it about it as real, real right. as you yes. can do and right. still be and, where she is. And, and before and, Robert makes his last point, I'll tell you, in my book, The First, I interviewed Malik Yoba. And he said, I asked, when did you get behind the Obama campaign? He said he heard her at UCLA. And his quote was, whoever is married to that woman, I've got his back. She had that kind of effect. And so, again, I think the White House has made a mistake now using her more in some of these policy Agreed. initiatives. Well, in her defense, I think she has said on the record is saying, I'm a mom, first and mm -hmm. foremost. I don't like the politics angle of things. I'm the one who told the president, then Barack, not to even to run for, for office. So I think there's some reluctance on her part initially to say, you know what? I like this job to a certain degree, but I don't like it that much. I need to go on the campaign trail.